right guys we're here i cannot wait to meet this guy just imagine just imagine living on the streets of mexico an innocent dog for your entire life and now about to experience the astro house experience i'm just let's do it hey tasha hi how's, how's it going good good is he here yes yes Oh my god. Sharky. Sharky! Hi! Wanna say hi, buddy? Hi! <laughs> Can he see okay? Does he have some cataracts? He does have some cataracts. He's about 10, maybe 11 years old. Maybe so 20. Maybe 20. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he can't see as well as he used to, but... So I assume you named him Sharky. Is he a little snappy with some of the dogs? He gets a little grouchy. A little he's grouchy? Kinda, he's an old man, likes his space. So when he gets grouchy, he doesn't hesitate to speak his mind. Hey, we all we all get like that sometimes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Can, I, can I say hi to him? Of course. This is gonna be a dog that I'm gonna just have to be really slow, very patient, not a lot of energy. What I really respect about him is he has no problem, like Tasha said, speaking his mind. He tells me what he doesn't like. If I touch a spot that's a little, a little tender, kind of shows his teeth a little. He lets you know what he likes and what he doesn't like. You see, he's not afraid of me. This dog's trying to love. This dog is trying to love me, exactly. This dog wants to trust me. It's up to me now. He wants to trust me. He said, I'm gonna give you all the tools to trust me. Now you just have to show up and listen to what I need. Listen to what I want. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You're sleeping in my bed tonight. You're gonna sleep in my bed tonight, babies. Let's uh, let's bring a couple of the dogs in that we brought with us, so he can in, so we can meet them real quick. But no matter what happens, we're gonna we're gonna show him a great time. We're, we're gonna foster him. Awesome, awesome. I love it. He deserves it for sure. Hey, bud. You need to sit right here. You need to sit right here. You don't bite me, okay? Okay, you have to understand something. I, I need to drive. You don't look very comfortable. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> He's growling at me. He doesn't want me to move him. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just don't know what else to do. I'm sorry. Thank you. There you go. Thanks, bud. Trim your nails. Maybe trim your teeth. <laughs> How are we feeling? I'm feeling great, man. I, uh... I always feel so grateful for these opportunities. You know, it's, uh, it's, I'm thinking about his life before this. Just think about his life before this, how he was able to drink water, get food, ever feel any sort of love and affection. He, most dogs that I end up fostering or rescuing, adopting, whatever, you, I only see their emotional scars. You know, they'll have scratches here and there, but I only see emotional scars. This dog is covered and like real scars, man. I mean, like, it looked like he was in a knife fight. They're all over his body, his face. The fact that he has been through what he's been through and is even willing to trust me as much as he's trusting me. I mean, his nickname is Sharky. He, he, he's earned that. There's a reason for that. You know, he's had, a, he's had to, to protect himself and defend himself. And now I get to, now I get to really show him what life is really about. Now I get to show him why he was born and that he has a purpose. Because every dog has a purpose, every single one. And unfortunately, some of them don't get to live long enough to, 
to know that or experience that, but this one does.